My name is PJ Bellier. I'm the CEO of uh, Speedcast Limited in Hong Kong. Um, we are the leading satellite service provider in the Asia Pacific region. We're providing, we're providing satellite services uh, in over 40 countries, mostly in Asia, as I said, and uh, in the Middle East, and starting to expand into, into Africa, uh, servicing a wide range of applications, um, cellular backhaul, maritime, lots of enterprise networks and private networks. We're facing uh, a range of challenges in running our business in, in the Asia Pacific region. First, we're in a region that is quite price sensitive, so certainly uh, we're constantly investing in uh, new technologies uh, to enhance our price competitiveness. Um, this is also extremely important for us to provide a, a high quality service. Speedcast has been built um, and has been successful based on the quality of its services. Uh, so we're al always looking for high reliability uh, solutions. And um, last but not least, we've done a lot of work in creating um, additional value for our customers. Uh, so there is the, the satellite link, which is the physical layer. And around this physical layer, we're trying to offer additional applications and value-added services that can create more value for our customers. And that's a, a constant challenge and a constant work for us to, to adapt to their new requirements and, and new types of applications that can enhance uh, their business. The CEO of Speedcast, um, the biggest problem I face is to um, find talented people. No. We're using technologies that our competitors are using in many cases. We're using satellites that our competitors are using. What makes a difference is our people, is how we integrate those technologies, what we do with them. So the, the continuous challenge that I'm facing is to bring the most talented people into our company. We've been quite successful at attracting uh, talented people at Speedcast. Uh, Speedcast has a leading leadership position. Uh, Speedcast has a leadership position in the Asia Pacific region. Um, we've done a good job at constantly innovating. We were, for example, the first company, not only in Asia but in the world, to uh, demonstrate uh, a global KU band maritime service with automatic beam, beam switching. So I think our leadership position and our capacity to innovate has attracted people to uh, come and work. Uh, with Speedcast and we've been lucky to, to uh, welcome very talented people at Speedcast and, and uh, I am confident that this will continue. So we are using uh, new tech modems uh, to provide large uh, dedicated uh, links to uh, various types of customers and there are mostly uh, two types of customers that we're dealing with. Uh, one is ISPs um, and in, in the link we, we provide are, are very important because they're enabling the ISP to uh, provide services to its end customers. So obviously we're talking about critical traffic here. Uh, and the second type of customers are government customers and in particular military customers. We're using, as an example, we're using new tech to provide uh, large uh, amounts of, of bandwidth into military camps in, in Afghanistan. Uh, supporting uh, internet access and various other types of operational services for military bases and military personnel there. We have started to use new tech products a few years back and the key driver at that stage was uh, the efficiency that new tech provided. Okay. We were able to offer more uh, bits per Hertz, we were able to be more efficient in the way we delivered our service and, and thus offer greater value to our customers. And uh, over the years, we've also very much benefited from the reliability of the new tech products. And they've been extremely re reliable for us. And we've continued using them. We're using them more and more. And uh, I hope this will continue.